During a firing exercise held on October 22 in waters near Saputi, the Indonesian Navy, TNIAL, successfully launched and accurately hit targets with two torpedoes fired from the submarines KRI Kakra 401 and KRI Aluguro 405. Various assets participated in this naval warfare exercise, including the KRI Kakra 401, KRI Aluguro 405, KRI Raden Eddy Martadanata 331, KRI Sapiden 923, KRI Sultan Hassanuddin 366, KRI Sultan Iskandar Muda 367, Panther AKS helicopters, and Scan Eagle drones. Admiral TNI Muhammad Ali, the Chief of Staff of the Navy, attended the event from the Combat Information Center CIC, of the KRI Raden Eddy Martadanata 331, praising the success of the submarine warfare training in the test firing of the two torpedoes. The KRI Raden Eddy Martadanata 331 was simulated as the surface target during the exercise. The two submarines involved in the exercise, KRI Kakra 401 and KRI Aluguro 405, have distinct technical characteristics and specific roles within the Indonesian Navy. The KRI Kakra 401 is a Kakra class submarine based on the German Type 209 model. It is primarily used for reconnaissance and patrol missions. Equipped with heavy SUT torpedoes, this submarine is designed for deep water operations and can remain submerged for an extended period due to its diesel electric propulsion system. On the other hand, the KRI Aluguro 405 is a Nagapasa class submarine, which is an upgraded version of the Type 209. It has more advanced capabilities in anti submarine and surface warfare. Equipped with various weapon systems, including anti ship missiles and next generation torpedoes, it is more suited for multi role combat operations. Its sonar technology is also more advanced, enabling it to detect threats with greater accuracy. Both submarines are key elements of the Indonesian Navy's strategy to ensure maritime security and strengthen its capabilities in submarine and anti submarine warfare. This exercise serves as one of the key initiatives under the Naval Chief of Staff's priority programs to strengthen the Indonesian Navy, focusing on the Integrated Fleet Weapon Systems SSAT. The exercise aimed to validate and modernize the force's equipment, enhancing combat readiness.